Hi Year 6, my name is Miss Fine and I'm one of the Art and Design teachers here at East League Academy. We look forward to welcoming you in Year 7 and this short video we're going to tell you all about art at this school. So when you start in Year 7 at East League Academy, you will have an art lesson once a week in Year 7, in Year 8 and Year 9. After that, you choose whether you want to study art as a GCSE subject or not. But in Year 7, you'll have art, an art lesson once a week. It's in a special art room, so we've got art rooms um, all set up with everything you would need, with inspiration on the walls for all different types of art that are going on in the school. Don't worry if you're sitting there thinking, I'm no good at art, I'm going to find art really, really hard. Uh, we give you projects that help everyone to access the artwork that we do. Um, and also, if you love art, if you, art is really something that you really enjoy, we'll give you work that will really push you, extend your skills, and hopefully you will really, really enjoy it. So there's really nothing to worry about. Well, whatever your art experience you've had before now, um, we're confident that we give you projects that you will all enjoy. You will get a sketchbook just for your art classwork and your art homework. And not everything is done in your sketchbook, but a lot of things are. A lot of the work goes on in your sketchbooks. And then you'll take it home for your homework, which we do once a fortnight. So you'll set homework one week and you hand it in to your art teacher the following week. Don't worry too much about equipment. As long as you're coming to school with the basics of a pencil, a rubber, a pencil sharpener, a ruler... Brilliant if you've got some coloured pencils, that's excellent. Um, if we're doing anything more complicated like painting, we obviously have that equipment in school for you to use. We do 2D and 3D work, so a lot of the work is on paper, 2D, but then you get to use clay and different materials also in Year 7. Okay, so on the screen right now that you can see, that's two of the art classrooms that we have. You can see students working away. There are actually Year 8 students there. Oh, I think it's Year 7 in the middle and Year 8 each side. So you can see the rooms are nice and big, the desks are nice and big, nice and airy classrooms for you to create your artwork in. Okay, here's some examples of the work that has been done. So on the left there, that's actually a Year 7 project called Funky Fish where we um, look at different artists and look at all different ways of using different materials to create those fish. Now, in your artwork, you will look at different artists and how other people have created art to give you ideas and give you inspiration. That's an important part of the uh, pro projects. The one on the right, Year 8 Tiki Mass, that's obviously a Year 8 project. Now, you can see there some of the prep work, the sketchbook work, but that finished in um, actually an actual tiki mask that they made in 3D. So that's something that will be uh, when you're in your second year at secondary school, which means must seem like a lifetime away for you right now. Some more year eight work there. Sorry about the reflection on the photo, but it's up in the corridor and this sort of plastic screen is in front of it. So that's all different types of printing. We looked at bees by inspiration. And some year eight figures, that's what they're currently working on in their art lessons. So their art lessons are one hour long. Your teacher will introduce the art task, and then you're given time to really get stuck in, get on with it. And then we often like to look at your work at the end to see how, how you've done it. We help you along the way. We won't just leave you to it. We're all very friendly, very helpful, and we'll help you along the way with your artwork. There's a year nine display. They look at underwater world and they end up doing a, um, a clay sort of vessel, almost like a vase, to do with the underwater world inspiration. Okay, so for the next part of this um, session, we're going to have a go at doing some art yourself. What you will need if you want to pause this and go and find yourself just some plain paper and a pencil or a pen. Hello Year 6, you might have noticed the change in voice, so I'm another art teacher Miss Roberts at East Leak Academy and I'm going to be showing you what we're going to be doing today in terms of a little task, a little lesson. So as Miss said, you might have some pens and some pencils now and a piece of paper to get this next 
next part of the lesson done. Uh, it doesn't matter which sort of pen you've got, this one's got a line about this thick, so it might be something, you might want to have a thicker pen, um, you might have uh, a thinner version, but this one for the task we're going to do today is just about right, okay? So we're going to be doing a continuous line drawing, and what I mean by that is the whole way along of this piece of work we're creating, we can't take our pen off the page, we're just going to continue to draw. And um, it's quite difficult, especially if you're a perfectionist, but you can get some really interesting results. So here's one missed earlier, Miss Violet. So she started off in this corner, and the first thing she thought is, well, I like, I like a burger. So she's drawn a burger with this continuous line. You can almost follow it along as it goes, and then we've, we've moved on from that, and thinking about some of you, I don't know if Miss Filer's a keen gamer, but some of you might like um, Xbox and PlayStation, so she's thought about this one, and then I know Miss likes camping, so she's gone into this sort of campfire setup, all this same line each time. Sometimes you might go back on yourself, and I'll show you that, and I think there's some cake here, and then onto some animals, maybe some of you have pets, okay? So I'm gonna show you my own here. And I'm going to think about um, what sort of things I like to do. Now, one of my th first ones, and you might have already realised this, is I quite like drawing. So just make sure your paper's in front of you. I'm just going to move my other piece so it doesn't slip. And just, yeah, hold it with one hand maybe and get your other pen ready to go. You don't have to start in this corner. You could start in the middle up here. You could start down here. You could start on the right. And you're going to start to draw. I'll start up here, I think. And I'm going to start with my continuous line to draw. A pencil because I quite like drawing and art which is lucky it's going to be a stripy pencil one of those um, stripy ones you sometimes get now the lines aren't all even but I'm just making sure I'm not taking my pencil off the page as I'm going I'm going to give it a lead and now what else maybe to continue on the art theme I want to talk about how I like painting so I'm going to do a palette with some paint splodges and it's not perfect, I'm just following this line along so I make sure I don't take my pen off the page, but it's quite interesting the results you get. Now if I want to make a section darker, a bit like a hole, I've just started to colour in and do a bit of a swirl there. Just took my pen off the page, I'm going to put it on. If you need to itch your nose, you can take the pen off the page and put it on exactly in the same spot, okay? If you need to sneeze, etc. Alright, what else do I like? So at home, I have two cats. So I'm going to start to draw some cats, maybe their little noses, some whiskers, which is quite useful because you can go back in and out with these whiskers, and then some eyes. So I've got two cats, so I'll just draw another one down here as well. One of them is smaller than the other, so I just think about size as well there. Some more whiskers, doesn't really matter which order you do it in, but just remember to get all those features. And then I also quite like food and I quite like spaghetti and meatballs which is very useful when you're doing this sort of drawing because spaghetti is quite an easy one to draw so just to make sure my meatballs stand out I'm going to make sure that they're scribbled in not scribbled but controlled scribbling in sort of different circle shapes so that's my spaghetti and meatballs okay I'm just going to pause here what else do I want to do you could do sports you could do your food pets nature hobbies Xbox, so to do the Xbox remote, or I'll do um, a football as well in a minute for sports or another type of sport. I'm just going to move my um, visualizer. Sorry, I have to take my pen off to move it so you can see how I do this. So I've got myself into this space over here, and then I'm just going to start to first start with the outline. So they have this sort of shape, so you can hold your hands, don't they? And then they have um, a couple of joysticks, like mini ones on the left and the right and then they might have some arrows so you could draw that sort of star shape and then you move along they might have four buttons one two three four okay and then next I'm going to go on to nature I quite like nature so I'm going to draw maybe a leaf your lines don't have to be swirly they can be quite angular like you've noticed here on my star I've got angular lines and I've got sharp lines here and um, it's up to you and what else was I thinking um, sports. I used to play netball, but netballs aren't as obvious shaped as football, so I'm going to turn this maybe into a football, um, and a few of you might want to do that. So I'm going to start to build up my football shape, always trying to do that continuous line. It is tricky and it is tempting to take your pen off the page, but it's just quite interesting the results you can get 
from not taking your pen off the page, okay? And then you might want to finish off by just swirling it out of the page like this, okay? So I want you to start to create your own continuous line page of interest. And then when you're done, you might even want to think, okay, maybe I have this spaghetti just spinning off this way just to even it out a little bit, okay? Now, it might take you a bit longer than this to finish off, so you might not have finished now. You might actually have been waiting for me to show you and then got started. That's absolutely fine. Um, the other thing to say is if you would like a bit of an extension task, then you could start by drawing yourself nice and large a big letter, okay, like this. And then me and Miss thought that you could maybe start to build in some more drawings of your interest within this shape. Now this time it doesn't have to be continuous line, um, it could just be your interest. So say if I like football, just, I've just drew a football, it's, in, it's on the, at the top of my head. Maybe you start to build in your football drawing like this sort of cut it so it's half on half on the B and half off. You might want to fill it in with some colour. You might want to make sure you're colouring in a bit neater than me. I've got a lot of lines showing. You might like that style. Okay, so you can finish off like that. It could be that you also like a burger like Miss had on hers with some seeds on. Try and make sure it doesn't look like a toadstool. Well give it a bottom bit as well and make sure it doesn't look like a mushroom. Some lettuce maybe the bottom like this, maybe because I'm thinking burgers have to have milkshakes with them, maybe a stripy straw going off and try to fit it all into um, this box and because I'm going to put cola on it because I think it fits better than milkshake but try and do your favourites and then what you could do in the background is start to think about doing a bit of zentangle so that is the art of building up patterns by building larger shapes and then making smaller ones fit inside. It's a bit like doodling, but it's a new type of art called Zentangle that people quite like doing. So you're gonna split it, well, you can't see that, let me have a, just show you the rest of it. So you can split it into its different sections maybe. So I've made those big shapes, and so now I'm making them smaller. And you might find that you've got even smaller bits that fit into those sections. And then you might want to make some lines thicker and color those in. And you'll hopefully end up with lots of different interests in the middle here and then some lovely patterns to decorate the outside and if you've got one of those letters if it say it's your first name and you've got one of those letters where you've got gaps in like an o or um other letters have gaps in like a g well actually the capital g wouldn't have it and um, then you can also carry on your pattern inside because you've got a bit of space to do the pattern in on the inside. Now you don't have to have these sharp lines that I'm doing, it could be that you have circles and you build those up all over it and uh, you may put a circle in a circle and then it might be that you connect your circles together and to the edge as well etc. So that's your extension task if you've finished doing your continuous line drawing and what we would love to see to show you these two continuous lines and ideas. What we'd love to see is you come in in September with your letters and um, your designs and your detail and your drawing and then in your first lesson it'd be lovely to show your teacher, obviously we'll know your name because we'll see your first letter and we'll be able to see your interests as well and that's really nice to, to find out about your interests because we'll just have met you. So if you can finish these off as an extension and bring them in September that would be lovely to see those. So thank you very much and I'll see you in September.